What is going on guys? It is Simon here. Welcome back to more of that crispy, crispy medieval that you all know and love. Rightio, so last episode we finished up at the lake and we had a pretty good run through that one actually. There were no deaths whatsoever. We just had to use one uh, life bottle, got the chalice, went to the Hall of Heroes and we got the magic longbow. So I might give that one a go in this level, I'm not sure. But anyway, we are now moving on to the crystal caves and I from what I can remember from my childhood playing this game there is a dragon in here that you have to fight and we might get the dragon armor I can't remember I think it is but anyway we'll slowly track through and we'll see so oh, we've got shadow demons first up and narrow walkway so not a good combo there but we'll see how the magic sword does against these guys. Oh, there's a few of them. Right here, so there is the chalice. Oh. Oh. oh, it's one hit with the magic sword. The magic sword gets it. Just gets it done. Right here, well, we can't get the chalice just yet, so Oop, don't want to fall in the drink. Okay. So there's little enemies out here? Yes, it is. Right here. Got a gargle on the wall. Let's see what he has to say. The ancient town of Menomed was destroyed by creatures known as rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Rhinotaurs. That's original. Radio. Can we smash these? Oh, yes we can. We've got little imps. Uh, I'm not a fan of imps whatsoever. So down here, we're going to need a rune. So star rune required. Radio. How good is the music in this stage? Have you heard it? I might just turn it up just for a little bit so we can have a good old listen. There we go, so... This is probably some of the best music of the game, I reckon. It's just really, really calming, and like with the crystals and the lighting effects. This is a really vibrant, good-looking level, I reckon. Okay, so we're gonna here. Oh, we've got bats too. Just bump that music back down so it's not overpowering everything. Right, great music, so this is gonna hurt me, no doubt. Uh, ouch! Uh, ouch! Okay, uh, took two life bottles. Well just one life bottle, sorry. That's okay. Nothing too major. We can handle that. <laughs> Haven't seen any of these rhino tours yet. Oh, there's one. Uh. Just scratched him a bit. Well, it didn't seem too bad. They're not that fast. The magic sword gets them too. So this weapon is so good, I love it. Okay, here's another one. Okay, you are down. I hear a life down. Fill up with those life bottles. Okay, let's go bust these rhino tours. Pack a bit of a punch. Okay. Supplies. 
use. So I can... Magical arrows now, I only used a couple of those in the Hall of Heroes he tested there. I don't need it just yet, so... I'll just wait until we've got more money before I stock those up, because we are running pretty low. So, we'll have to say... Tread softly in these caves, for there is an ill temple. There is an, there is an ill tempered dragon. For an ill tempered dragon has a lay here. Simon can't read tonight. But there is a dragon here, that's what I thought. I'm pretty sure you can get the dragon armor from this guy. It's, from what I can remember. It's not the hardest boss fight, you just have to stay away from him because he's going to breathe fire. And then you smash... Uh, if you hit one of the platforms, but if you hit it, say, to the right or to the left or to the top, it will drop rocks in, on the opposite platform and that's how you have to kill him, so... You might... I won't have to worry about it yet. Oh, here's the fight just here, so... Hammer up. The mean old dragon can be summoned by inserting the two dragon gems, that's what we're going to use our dragon gems for, into the eye sockets uh, of the relief. The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much as he's afraid of the roof, roof collapsing over his head. Okay, so I'll take that. Look at all the money. We'll collect all this treasure and stuff first, and I'll take a life vial. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting our gold back up as well. Okay, so this must be the relief the book's talking about. So, one dragon gem. Have a sip of coffee. Second dragon gem. Dares to enter my lair and wake me from my slumber. Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. It's the Sean Connery oh, dragon. Uh, well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Oh, great. I'm just going to give you a good hiding. No worries, boss. <laughs> So I'm going to go back up here. And now he'll go to the opposite platform all the way on the left. I'll go to this one. Get this one. Oh, didn't do anything. Should be one more when he goes back to the left one. Got him. Easy. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's get back to our long sword. No, our long sword, our magic sword, sorry. Another weapon. Oh, puts it on straight away. So there we go. Oh, I remember this. So his arm is fully different. It's got like kind of wings coming off the top of his arms and breathes fire. That's awesome. I won't use that right now. I'll keep with our magic sword, because that is pretty strong up against these rhino tours. Oh, they do pack a bit of a punch, those guys. Those 
platforms will but fall down, so I'm just going to jump over to the safe. Oh. Look at the lighting effects in this water. Like, obviously, by today's standard, they're not good, but it just looks so nice. Visually, I'm going to say this is one of my favorite moments. Okay. Yeah, so this, it look, I thought it was water originally, but this is actually a crystal floor with a light glowing through it from the crystals. That's awesome. That's so good. I love how that looks. Right here. Let's keep going. So, where is that? Oh, that's dropped us back to the start. That's okay, because over here was the, so the hand we can put that rune in. And there we go. So, crystal bridge has popped up. Here we go. Chalice can now be collected. But we'll dispose of these guys first. Go get that chalice, and that looks like the end of the level. So we've had another good run. I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm really enjoying playing through this game again. Having such a blast is just really pumping me up for Medieval Remake on the PS4. Hopefully, we get more news about that. Super excited for that. We're only a few weeks out from the Resident Evil 2 release. That's another game I can't wait to play. I remember sitting down playing uh, the original Resident Evil 2 uh, demo that came with my Resident Evil Director's Cut. And I just loved running around that first section of Raccoon City and getting to the police station, getting ready to fight the Lico, and then the demo ends. So it's going to be so good playing through that again. That uh, Resident Evil 2 again. Obviously, all remade. The footage we've seen so far looks pretty dope. So. Anyway, let's get this level finished and get to the Hall of Heroes and see what we get. All in all, good level. Great music. Uh, kind of a unique little boss fight. The enemies weren't too bad and we, did, uh, we didn't take much uh, damage on ourselves or use any life bolts, so good stuff. Oh, he's going to talk. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Come see Stengard the Mighty. Come and see the last of the centaurs. Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel <laughs> Fortescue, would-be hero. <laughs> Those gargoyles and knobs. Bit of a cheap shot to Sir Dan. All good. Oh, hello. This door's open. What do you have? Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. Mm -hmm. I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. Oh, lightning. This is a good weapon. You do have to recharge it a fair bit, but... Good weapon. Off you pop then, and keep your chin up. Oops, sorry, Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. Thank you, you're probably the nicest person in here. Yes, so lightning. Um, you can charge it up and do multiple damage, but, oh, it even, so even just by holding it up, it drains. So there, we've already used 10% of it already, so I might put that away until I'm getting ready to use it, but it's got a special attack that will zap multiple enemies, and you, you can just run, use it, and it will just lock onto an enemy straight away and deal massive amounts of damage so there we go another good level down we're making some pretty good progress guys
getting closer and closer to the end. So we'll save our progress. So far we've been playing for 4 hours and 21 minutes. Okay, done. We're all saved. And the next level we will visit is... The Gallows Gauntlet. Okay. Can't remember anything about that, but I'm sure it's going to be a pain. Or we might breeze through it just like we did the last two, two levels. Anyway guys, I will leave this episode here for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm having a great time playing through this game. Really, really enjoyable. Anyway, as always, keep that positivity flowing, and I'll see you next time with more Medieval. Thanks, guys.